Hey everybody, here is about another oh, five or six minutes of video on um, good old recon. We made sure that we covered it and showed you all the different tables. I hope you enjoyed this. So, here we go. Why don't we just start the tape? And until next time, I'm Rob Warren and we'll see you soon. Now here we have a very cool naval battle. And you can see Again, another thing where the ships are just extremely, extremely detailed. Extremely detailed. And this is played on an 8 foot by at least 16 foot table. I mean, just completely huge. I mean, all out, everybody going at it, having a great time. Some more Napoleonics. A very big theme here is always Napoleonics. And you see just just enough, just enough of everything to really just give it a good feel and play it all the way through. Look at the detail on those buildings. Tremendously put together. Another huge game, 8 foot by 16. This is done, I believe, in 30 second scale. Absolutely beautiful. Well, there's wounded right here. Mike. Well done. Just letting you guys absorb that a bit. They even covered the Indian War. This is the second Seminole War. He's using a rules called musket and tomahawks. Very, very nicely done. You see the detail and everything. Like I said, he really does take some time to assemble all this and put it all together. Very well done. Because you want to have the feel of it all. Look at that fort there. Very, very nice. Excellent really done. Let's zoom out all the river. And a lot of dice chucking, folks. Now, this is a, I believe, a Richard Board game. Hero of Many. This is called the Great War, which covers the World War One. You see they got the little little lights to show things that are on fire or smoking. Superb. We do a probe on that flank with gas attack. I have a feeling you're a Here we got Flames of War, which is probably one of the more popular World War II games. Um, it's done in a 15 millimeter. Well, actually, yeah, 15 mil. See, even I get confused sometimes. Done, thrown on the table, and just a very easy system. So, in some ways, a kind of a beer and pretzels type of World War II game. This is the Blue Sky game system. This is just World War II fighting. Kind of, in a way, kind of like Wings of Glory. But as you can see, I'm trying to get everything focused in here. This is the Pacific Theater. Another big game. Very nicely done. Next up, uh, they're going to have a little sales and glory going on. A game that you can get a cool stuff. Just to show the historical period. Very good game. Beautiful ships. An easy, a great system for you guys to, that are just getting into war games to play. And a lot of fun. Now for you Star Trek fans out there. Boy, that's a lot of enterprises. I'm taking on the Klingons and all-out war. And 
I think they're using a, a system that's homemade, actually. No, actually, they're using the full thrust system. A lot of people just uh, really enjoy a certain set of rules, and then they build around it. And this is one of those occasions where they are using a full thrust rules segment and just decide to do an all-out um, Star Trek battle. Very excellently done. Uh, this rule system was always a, a great rule system. Uh, it just didn't take off and got a little weird with some of the expansions, which I'm not going to mention. And, uh, and uh, you know, people really liked the system, but it died out, and it was something that died out in the, uh, the 90s, actually. But it still lives on today.